How is it, y'all? It's popping. It's Steve about to react to this vid it's titled Nelly's Ex Chantel is very jealous and envious of Ashanti's and Nelly's marriage. And they also have a baby on the way. This is a woman that he was engaged to, I want to say. Might be lying. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I read that somewhere. Might be getting confused with someone else. I'm not exactly sure. But let's see what she's so jealous and envious and, and what she did or said was watching. Okay, you guys. So Nelly and Ashanti are living their best life right now. They have rekindled their love. They are married and their baby is due very soon. But Nelly's ex Chantel was on live and she spoke about their relationship. She actually spoke on why they broke up. And this did not sit right with fans. They feel like, why are you speaking on them? Y'all have been broken up long enough. He's married. He has a baby on the way. So why are you bringing up the relationship y'all had randomly She's while so you're on live? It made fans feel like she still stuck on him. Now, just to give you guys a quick rundown, Nelly was with Ashanti from 2003 oh, to damn, 2013. That's good. 10 years? They broke up. In oh, 2014, no, no, no. he got in a relationship with Chantel Jackson. That's they were together years. for seven years. They broke up in 2021, okay? So in 2023, Nelly and Ashanti rekindled their love and it quickly led to marriage yeah, and a baby. They, they so while years. Chantel was on live, she actually answered the question as years. to why she and Nelly broke up. Take a look. Think or have this make-believe story. I left. I left because I wanted initially, I guess, space to see maybe will the space bring us back together or do i need the space because i just need to rip off that band-aid so and initially i wanted the space or the break to rip that brand that band-aid off so girl what does that even mean <laughs> you need space to rip no, off that no, what band-aid no it will nothing bad just sometimes people don't work out People grow apart. Like sometimes one person might want to be still in the situation and the other person is like, this isn't working. It happens, you know? Right, just didn't work out. I would understand someone using that phrase, you rip off a band aid, meaning you want to, you know, put a stop to pain or whatever the case, if you meant that you were exiting the relationship for good that's ripping off the band-aid but that's why i'm confused because she told me it she went on a break she wants to go on a break with him that's not ripping off a band <laughs> ripping off the band-aid would be like all right i'm done we gotta we gotta dead this i'm done for good that that would that's why i'm confused whatever girl <laughs> um and that is all good like, you just want to get the pain and over with. And she was getting dragged after that because people felt like, why are you speaking on this sense. now after this man is married with a baby on the way? You must not be over him and you must still want him. One person and said, girl, shut up. That man has a baby on the way. You could have kept this video locked up. Girl, move on. He's married with a baby. He didn't want to give you. Sis, you made this video for you, not for us because you're trying to convince yourself that you're genuinely not mad that he spent years with you just to go back to Ashanti. And now are they, I think she meant, and now they are expecting. He did something and he's never done not even with you and that's give them a ring then marry them oh my god what is wrong with these people are so miserable and all they do is expose how they view life like this woman clearly revolves her entire life around a man and getting married and getting a baby so she projected all of that on this woman why would you say all of this just from the comments that she made very fucking weird bitch like, ew, I, I just don't like the tearing down of another woman and, and trying to make them feel less than because, you know, you feel like, oh, you didn't get the ring and the baby. That, not everybody revolves their life around that. Like, people are fucking weird. But I do agree. She shouldn't have never said nothing. You Look, you couldn't waterboard out of me <laughs> what happened with me and any of my exes because I don't give a fuck what they got going on. I don't care. And she broke up with this man three years ago. I want them to be happy and move on and get married and have babies so they can leave me the fuck alone. And obviously not, <laughs> you know, whatever. I, I would like them to, to go live their life. <laughs> Please be happy. I want the best for every last one of them. Go, go. Amazing. You will never catch me speaking on them. I don't care enough to. So I don't get why she even felt the need to even make that comment. I don't care people are asking you. You could ignore it. Very easy to do. Nelly and Chantel been over. Nelly and Ashanti is married. Okay. Oh, has had some issues.
shoes from Miss Jackson. So it seemed like every time Ashanti or Nelly would go live together, Chantel would have to post something on her IG stories where she's looking good, looking sexy. So one time she posted herself in lingerie. Or, or maybe she just look good and look sexy. <laughs> I hate that narrative also where people feel like, mm, oh, she's trying to look good to try to get back her. Y'all are weirdos, bro. And again, all y'all do is project y'all own insecurities and y'all viewpoints on the other people. It's very, very strange. Ray, after Nelly and Ashanti went live and her lyrics that she posted was very questionable. First of all, why are you posting the words of the lyrics? You clearly want somebody to read them or see them. So the lyrics that were going across the screen said, no by now, ain't no be better. She ain't gonna love you. She don't get wetter. Trying to be a part, but it would never matter. Now Ashanti respond. Do y'all understand that she could be talking about her new nigga? Do y'all do y'all? Are we not using our, our brain cells to, to put that together? They've been broken up since 2021. You you think a woman who looks like this is at home and like rocking lonely <laughs> with nobody to talk to because nobody wants her? I, I don't think that's the case. She's gorgeous. So this could easily be directed at someone else. This is very childish though if she is trying to direct this at anybody. Uh, did to what she posted while she was on live with her husband. Wait, what did she say? Y'all are too old for this. this. Everybody is embarrassing, bro. Everybody involved. She was on live with her husband. that brings the question back around was this video that Chantel posted coming from a hurt and jealous place. Is she over Nelly or is she hurt that he's moved on from her? Now, when Nelly and Chantel broke up in 2021, they were only supposed to be on a break, but clearly things didn't work out how she expected them to. We just had to come to the realization of, look, let's take this time and see if this split is going to bring it back full circle for us and honestly like that's what we're doing oh so it's a break essentially um yeah you can say that a break a split but i feel like it's important that we that take the time to just do it and me getting to know someone else and starting a relationship or dating or whatever you want to call it they're going to have to accept the the relationship that I still have with him. Now that sounds like Chantel was feeling like, okay, we're just going through something right now. We're gonna take time apart and we are gonna come back together, but we see it didn't work out that way. So I'm really wondering, is she having a hard time letting go, being that she probably wasn't expecting any of this to happen? So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Chantel is having a hard time accepting that Nelly is gone, married, and happy? Or do you think she has moved I think on? Everybody needs to Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm gonna attach clips from Nelly's and Ashanti's baby shower. But that's all I have for you, and I'll talk oh, to you later. See. I think they're cute though. I mean, good for them, but the messiness is embarrassing. Like, no, I'm not beefing with nobody. On my big ass age, it's just it's not good enough. Especially on the internet, bro. She has a very, she looks gorgeous. Hopefully she has a very healthy, safe delivery. I just but I just think the petty posts back and forth between them is just goofy. It's very childish. But whatever, bro. I, I wish everybody well involved, but it's like, why even speak on this? <laughs> 
Like, I wouldn't even put myself in a situation, like, to even speak on X. Like, bro, it's done. Like, just let it, let it be. But I don't know. I feel like I view relationships very differently than other people. Because once it's over, I'm just like, whatever. Wish everybody well. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.